Guys, as the Zuka meta progressed, we're starting to enter potential dark times. Pencil and triple shot is becoming a thing in zones. We've been seeing double and triple Zuka comps everywhere, and it's slowly starting to gain ground. Luckily, though, we know that this patch is coming out today. They can fix it before it ever spirals out of control. Yeah, that and other good jokes you can tell yourself. So let's cover what actually happened in this patch, because, uh... Yeah. All right, well, subscribe if you enjoy the breakdown. Let's get into it. First up on main weapons, the Splattershot Jr. is going to strafe 6% faster. Does a shooter need another mobility buff? Not really, but whatever, I guess. Jr. is not the most broken weapon right now. It's just kind of an unnecessary buff. But I mean, I guess it is a weapon that can deal with Zuka a little bit better because of bubbles, so okay. L3, H3, and Gluga are all getting a more cool change, though. Basically, all three of these are getting less drop-off damage, meaning the amount of time the bullet travels before it starts to decrease in damage is reduced. This will make it easier to one shot with H3, two shot with Gluga, and one burst with L3 against weakened opponents. I think this is most impactful with Gluga, but nice all around. S Blast 92 is getting some buffs. The ink efficiency is being increased by roughly 15%, which will be very close to or exactly 12 shots. And on top of that, intensify action will stack better for the short range mode. So maybe we'll run one sub intensify like you do with Luna. The main problem with this weapon is the fact that it is attached to Reef Slider, but if it gets a different kit or a slider buff in the next patch, this could be a nice change. And at least you can get more of Slider if you're trying to cheese zones. Carbon Roller and Splat Roller are getting an increased range for their horizontal flick maximum damage. This has basically been an issue since Splatoon 2 came out, and considering that both these rollers are in a pretty decent spot right now, I think this is a very positive change. Definitely going to increase the power of these weapons on maps where you're able to run them. Mini Spotling is getting most of its ink consumption nerf from Splatoon 2 reverted. Considering it has weaker kits in this game, more power to the main weapon is a good change. Hydro Spotling is going to be 10% faster when firing, and 8% longer firing duration when fully charged. This is especially nice considering Hydra is kind of just getting bombarded with specials while it's trying to charge the weapon, so it'll be a bit easier to do that, and when you do get the charge, you'll be rewarded for it more. I think that's a solid change. However, the biggest buff in this patch is the Pain Brush. This thing got three buffs, plus a supplement buff we'll get to later. First off, the amount of whiting frames it takes before you can start recovering your ink is reduced by 10 frames, or 1 sixth of a second, but on top of that, the damage range for how far the weapon will deal over 50 damage and over over 33.4 damage is extended, meaning its two and three shot range is going to be increased. On top of that, the sub weapon of Curling Bomb was buffed to go from 70 to 65% of your ink tank. Its ink efficiency hurts Painbrush in particular, so it's a really nice change for that weapon. This means that Painbrush is going to have a lot more uptime and a lot more reliability at killing. Definitely something I want to give a shot when the update comes out. Speaking of the Curling buff though, I mean it's something I wanted. I think we could go a little bit cheaper, but it's a start. It'll also help other ink hungry weapons like roller in particular, but it's just nice all around to have it be a little bit cheaper considering it's a bit less useful than lethal bombs. On to the special weapon, Killer Will 5.1 is getting 17% more damage. Yeah, this special is not the healthiest thing for the game as a global range special, but I will say at least now it should work a lot better with some of the weapons that have good synergy for this. Mainly I'm referring to the Bamboozler and Long Rapid Blaster, as these weapons deal 85 damage, meaning just a little bit of the whale is going to kill now. For weapons like 52, this will be a solid change, but a lot more of the whale needs to hit to save you a shot to kill. Obviously, it'll still be more useful in a team setting with other people playing off it, but I think the whale weapons that combo off it better are the main winners of it. Kraken is going to be 11% faster when not doing the charge attack. I think this is a good change because you basically spam the charge attack to move, so you'll have a bit more depth to your movement, and it helps a lot considering the speed cooler players can move at, as well as just high swim speed builds. Tana missiles got nerfed. Yeah, I mean, I guess this was because of Turf War, which normally the Turf War changes aren't great for the other modes. We'll get to that later, but in this case, it's welcome. Missiles aren't really that broken right now, but also they're not that healthy for the game either, and they're fixing one of the most annoying attributes with it. Its 30 damage radius is being reduced by about 15%, making it a lot easier for you to not randomly get chipped by missiles you're pretty far away from. This makes the special less annoying, it's still bouncing enough of a spot to be worth running, I'm a bit less concerned if they start putting missiles on something really good, so it's a stray nerf, but hey, it hit a good target. Would you believe me if I told you that Trizuka got nerfed by less than this special? Yeah, they just reduced the damage from 60 to 53. The devs stated that they wanted less random Trizuka kills, which is very funny. Really what this does is basically, picture you're running from the Zuka, you get hit, you take 60 damage, you swim, you heal 20 HP, but the second Zuka shot still kills you because it does 60, and that's 120. Now, once you can heal 6.1 HP, you'll be able to tank a second Zuka hit. This nerf is not meaningless, but it is not very good either. Like, it's better than nothing, it's just not good enough on its own. The radius is still massive 
massive, the startup is still dumb, and most importantly, Splattershot is still 190p. What is it with this balance team and letting shooters get all the specials in the universe, dude? I just don't get it. Later down this list, Try gets nerfed by 10 points for special, but Zap still isn't, so Try is more expensive than Zap again. Like, come on. There's no reason for weapons to spam this much special. Speaking of which, uh, Aerospray spams more Booyah Bomb. Cool, I guess. Rapid Blaster is 190 for Strike. That's actually nice. Big Swig 190 Vacuum we can take. Squeezer is 210 for Zuka, which is a meaningful nerf. This probably could have been to the main weapon instead, but I mean, I'll take it. Squeezer having a low special output is a fair weakness given how many things that weapon does well. Triniveau CDS and Stamper are all 10 extra points for special higher though. The main culprit for this is probably Koshien and Turf War. CDS is played a bit in Turf War. Stamper is most common in Turf War, and Triniveau is played over Zap in Turf War because you run a reflux on your Team. Because of that, all of these weapons got the points for special nerf. Now for Stamper, I don't care, it gets plenty. For Try, if they nerf Zap alongside it, would be fine. So maybe in the future, whatever. But CDS, man, really? One of the hardest weapons in the game that gets super chump of all things? We gotta make it 210p when it's got a 10 second cooldown? Like, come on, dude. Dually Sculpture players do not deserve this. This is just an unnecessary nerf. At the very least, buff the main weapon a little bit if we're gonna do this. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not very happy with this patch. The buffs are a lot better than usual, so that makes it okay to me, but the fact that we couldn't even do shot 200p or a bit more meaningful of a Zooka nerf is just kind of dumb. I really hope we don't see a bunch of double and triple Zooka or a triple shot pencil anymore, but I don't know, man. I could easily see people doing it. It's good, and it's a lot easier than running a lot of other stuff. I hope the meta doesn't devolve, and hopefully the Maki rework is good to get our minds off this. We'll see when I cover that in the near future, so subscribe if you don't want to miss it. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.